So what we're doing in this, like what the course really revolves around um, is the concept of HABS drawings, Historic American Building Survey drawings, that the Department of Interior and National Park Service mandate. And those are just meant to um, identify and document existing historic properties and the features within them. So their interiors, their facades, any ornamentation on the exterior, um, sometimes they even do the landscape that they're in, um, and just preserving those for future generations. So all of these illustrations will go from paper and pen or paper and pencil to ink on vellum and be archived in the Library of Congress for the next 500 years. So this semester our project is the Junior League Club of Chicago on Astor Street. It's a wonderful uh, headquarters for the Junior League, but it was previously a residence, a single family residence. So our task is to measure and draw that building in its entirety. Um, to give the viewer the experience of what the building is like at this moment in time. What I'm doing is I'm drawing a section of the Junior League Club and I'm doing it on this side of the building. So it's cutting through all the different layers of stairs. So it's kind of, conceptually, it's kind of a hard drawing to wrap your head around because you have to see how all the different rooms lay out. I spent the first two days here doing most of the drawings and just trying to figure out where everything was. And then today I'm working on going in and getting measurements. This is basically like if anything happens to the building, there's a record of what was here. After we have a rough drawing, of all of the different sort of facets of the room. Uh, we measure basically every detail that's of importance. There's a lot of nooks and crannies. Um, it's also a residential property, or was a residential property. Um, and so to see how that plays out now when it's not being used as a residence, it changes the, not even the layout and the physical parts of the property, but also just how you travel around it and how it's used. This isn't a bedroom anymore, this is a meeting room. And the kitchen isn't used by servants anymore for the lady of the house. It's used for like lunch in the middle of a work day. We do have a few architects here in the program, um, but we have other students who uh, primarily come from art history, some from law. We try to utilize that diversity of skills um, when we um, do coursework, so it's not just um, strictly like an architecture class per se. Believe it or not, the archival life of our drawings is 500 years, so they're going to be uh, hand drafted and then uh, fully scaled representational drawings of that building will be available for future generations.